we're back uh, back at it today. We had a router that had to change this morning, but um, <clears throat> thought I'd before I got going too far, go ahead and shoot the OTDR on this and uh, kind of see what all what all we're getting. Um, basically, I've got a uh, a controlled uh, launch cable here that I always you know uh, keep with it and that stays plugged in um, so I've moved on to my white in the I'm sorry my uh, black in the uh, blue tube and what we're going to be running here is a uh, quick scan and it's basically just going to every single one I want to look about the same um, and uh, this takes a few seconds looks like it's shooting uh, one kilometer, so it's like 3,000 feet to where my cables broke. And this one's saying, uh, button or hit, there we go. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that again, because that looks uh, wrong. And let's just shoot one more time here. I got it on the automatic setting, but I pretty much just wanna know that my splices are, are good here and they're all giving me about the same amount of loss. Now this is um, shooting a light all the way to the end and waiting for the reflection to come back. There we go. So, and that's basically just saying I got a, a 0.27 dB per kilometer um, in loss. Um, I'm, uh, attenuation or what, I don't know how you want to say that. Um, and then the distance to my break is point. Uh, 683 kilometers and uh, it's kind of cool it's what's showing here is um, event number one is at zero that's that's that right there um, event number two it's so close but it's either this connection or the splice itself um, and then event number three is the actual cut uh, cut end of the um, of the fiber so I'm just gonna go ahead and escape and I'm just going to pop this right over to my next fiber. And let's go ahead and scan that one, see what's going on with it. So for the most part, they're all going to be about the same. I mean, any, uh, any major issue, now's the time to fix it, because once this goes into the rack, there's no bringing it back out. So, as you can see, I'm sitting right about the same. Um, that's probably my splice. I'm guessing that's my splice. Uh, it's hard to really tell with being so close to it. Um, but uh, I don't have any splices out in the field yet on this. But one, one that's gonna look real crazy, if we shoot number one here, because I've got a two-way splitter, an eight-way splitter, um, G-PON splitters. This uh, OTDR does not do G-PON. And uh, if you see this, this is gonna have all kinds of events. So what you're seeing right there is probably my uh, two-way, and that's probably the end of the eight-way splitter coming back. This is gonna probably give like seven or eight events. Um, and it's really gonna mean nothing because you're not gonna be able to make any, yep, seven events. You're not going to make any sense of this. Basically, I know um, I've got a splice going on right there, um, and then at point or 0 0.4 kilometers away, um, I have something, and I know what it is. I know it's a two-way splitter. Um, then the next event is probably my eight-way splitter, and then all of those are probably the distances to the customer. So I hooked up three customers. So those three right there are probably those customers. And then that one right there most likely is the splice from the two-way to the four, or to the eight-way. Kind of cool. I mean, I guess now that I'm talking out loud with it, you can kind of make some sense of that. But for the most part, if you didn't know what your splitters were, then this you couldn't even figure this out um, doing a G-Pon. But there is a, a really expensive OTDR that does it. Um, but we don't need it. We just need to be able to um, run a couple uh, 
test. This is mostly to, to figure out if something's uh, actually broke um, out in the plant. This will put us put us on it. Um, we go ahead and run a scan on another. And we're on pink or rose, whatever you want to call that. And rocking and rolling, same thing. So I did the first 12. I'm just going to skip the next 12. There was no issues here. These are just fantastic. And this is saying that again, it's only because uh, it's set to automatic. So that's going to take it a little bit to figure out. There we go. You could set it to a standard, like two kilometer or one kilometer, and it changes the power of the light, uh, laser or whatever. Yep, so that one's the correct one. There you go. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and get the splicing, and then uh, maybe we can play around with the OTDR in a little bit.